All right, Eric confessed that it was not the prettiest weld that he's ever done. However, he said, vertical welds aren't tough, but when you're leaning over upside down, it makes it a little tougher. So that's what the weld now looks like. He ground out the old weld, weld and put in the new weld and came way up with it too. And actually, uh, he said he could see very clearly as he was welding the uh, crack with the uh, old oil and old water um, lighting up and smoking and illuminating as he welded it. So he said it was very, very easy to see where, yes, there was a significant crack that is responsible, hopefully, for the leak coming from this compartment where this clutch and brake assembly mount to the bevel gear shaft housing out to the outer drive flange and housing. So anyway, hopefully that will fix leaking five gallons a day on a long day is a hundred to two hundred bucks. So just depending on what kind of oil you're putting in there. That's not good. And also I think it was overfilling the uh, final drive. It was leaking into the final drive through that crack as well.